Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another live video. Today we have a special one for you. Um, we have a Minecraft review world. Me and my cousin both worked on this world. It's been a long journey and it's still never done. And that's how Minecraft world is here's my friend my cousin right here howdy y'all so let's let's get a tour going so where should we start nick oh uh, let's start here where the original part of the city was and then down below us i'll follow you Alrighty, let's go down here Alrighty, so to start down here, don't worry about the square yet, because we'll get to that. But right here, we have the first house that we've ever built. Now, we've definitely come a long way from building this house, but without further ado, let's look inside. We'll actually do the interior on this one. Now, some of them we won't do the interiors on, because some aren't finished, and some are not the best, you know. And it's going to take extra time, so we'll only do a couple interiors. But here's... Here's the first house we ever built. We've got a large dining room table here. And we got the living room over here with the almost like a sectional couch. Then there's kind of a recliner here and a coffee table. You know, it's Minecraft, so you can't get everything perfect like it is in real life. But then you got the tile floor over here. Mm -hmm. and, and here's the kitchen. We got the double sink, nice countertops, kitchen. an espresso machine, some cabinets, double ovens, oh, yeah, a refrigerator. Have the espresso machine. Yeah, that's like the most important part. And then we'll go up to the upstairs. So here's the bedroom. It's really wide open. I know it's kind of mm. a lot of extra space. But here we got like a triple bed. You know, nightstands on both sides, furniture, and then you go into here, and this is the bathroom. Yeah. See, this wow, is that's a pretty... big bathroom. You got like a hot tub in. Yeah, here. <laughs> I wanted to make sure that I could practice my swimming while I was in here, so I made an extra big tub. And um, mm -hmm. here's a toilet. Yeah, this is, this is still pretty primitive. You take your dukes. Yeah. yeah, you can tell this is one of our earlier builds because it's not nearly as good as some of our newer ones. Oh, yeah. One, wait till you get to, like, the new and advanced and some we really took time on. And we'll explain on that one house that it's just amazing. Yeah. Okay, that's the bathroom. Let me close that. I believe up here is just storage. Or maybe it's another loft. Yeah, it's basically a loft or storage room. You can put like a guest bedroom. Yeah, you can put a guest bed up there. But then if we go outside huh. to here, this is really the party piece of the house. Out here we got oh, kind of wow. like a lounge. That's nice. You got a little fireplace with a nice wraparound seating. And you got some nice tanning beds here. These are really fancy. Is that fancy. a cruise ship? Yeah, that's a cruise ship out there. That's going to be one of our next spots. Yeah. That's nice. That is sick. And then... Mill. Oh, oh, yeah. There's a amazing. lot of stuff that we got to go over in this world. And then mm -hmm. over here, there's a bar. This is a pretty fancy bar, actually. We did a pretty good job on this part. We might not have done good on the rest of the house, but this exterior part with the roof and the, and the bar, it all came out really good. Yeah, if you guys have any ideas on some interior ideas, put it in the comment section down below. And also, don't forget to like and subscribe. Oh, yeah. Give the man some love. Okay, oh, let's, yeah. let's go back downstairs. And There's one more thing I want to show you guys. And it's nothing too, too extra, but something on the bottom underneath the big porch. We have this. 
It's kind of like a, oh, a lower man. pool and hot tubs. Double hot tub. Two hot tubs and you got a pool with a shallow end and a that deep end. That means double the chicks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and um, it's nice that, um, you know, we had a nice flooring plan in this. You know, this is before we even got good in building, but this part of the house really shines. I really like this part. Oh, yeah. And the way we did it with all the mix of designs. It looks really good. Alrighty. Close the door oh, behind us. Oh, we're gonna us. save the best for last. Oh yeah. There's some really good stuff to so come. So this is just getting started. Yeah, we're, this is just the beginning. We haven't even gotten into some of our best builds. Now, where should we go next? Should we go see the cruise ships next in the airplane, or should we start on these buildings? Let's go in these buildings, and then we'll head down towards, like, the boats, and we'll go through, like, the city and go down by the police station. Okay. And I'll wrap around to... Okay, I see town. which way. Yeah, that's a good idea. All right, so let's go into this building. Now, you might have to give the tour of this building because you were the one that built this one, I believe. All right, so this building was actually started as... If you look inside, we'll go inside. It's an office building. But as you see how it's like the dark and white and then dark again. So it was like that, but like all around and stuff and with the windows... But my brother actually came on and changed it out. Shout out to Ty. And, um, built an office building layer here. Yeah, he fixed it up really, really nice. Mm hmm. Really nice. Um, some of it, um, I don't know if there's nothing up here. Oh, yeah, there is. Um, yeah, there's stuff up here. Not, um, desks, some more desk. So this is a really nice office building. And that's really it. I think the floors got, like, the stairway was getting glitched out. Yeah. Looks like some sort of the blocks are, uh, misplaced. Mm. That's okay, though. Yeah, like this this world yeah. is a work in progress you know we're gonna find all these like little imperfections here and there that we gotta go around oh, yeah. and fix and remember this is gonna be part one of exploring the city there's gonna be more stuff coming yeah there's gonna be a lot more you know we're probably not even a quarter of the way through our wish list and that wish list keeps on growing mm -hmm. all, all right. right let's go on to the next house um, okay, this one so, is my house up here, this big brown one. Mm -hmm. And, you know, obviously it's supposed to be like a very extravagant house. It's got like 30 foot tall windows, a lot of nice shrubbery and uh, plants. Very big, majestic house. Uh, I'd say let's go inside this one. This one has a nicely detailed interior. It's a very extravagant, mm -hmm. almost lodgy feeling home. Okay, let's close the door. And we'll start over here. Oh, wow. We got ourselves a dining room with some fancy seating on a fancy table. Mm -hmm. And if you look up, we have a nice little Whoa. chandelier and some lighting. Because this is a big house and it beautiful. gets really dark in here. Mm -hmm. So we got huge lights. And if you come look over to here. fireplace in that living room. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is a big living room. it's absolutely huge. Yeah, we got a giant sectional style couch with a giant, almost like a footrest and coffee table. We got our big, big TV here. Massive fireplace. Yeah, this is my own house, mm -hmm. so I really went above and beyond. Not that I didn't go above and beyond with the rest of the city, but this house is like the epitome, almost. This house was rebuilt two to three times. Yeah, we had to do a lot of different edits to make it right. And this is the kitchen. I think this is like an island. Yeah, this is an island. Mm -hmm. Got some seating here, Bar almost like a breakfast area. nook. Got a refrigerator, countertop, sink. Got our stove, a little fan on top. Yeah, we got a lot mm -hmm. here. This looks like another espresso machine. I think this might be our. I'm not exactly. Oh yeah, this is the stove top. I'm not exactly sure what this is. I forget. I built this thing a long time Maybe ago. Like a now. cutting board. Yeah, that's what it was. It was a cutting board. You got some like. Almost casing over here. This is like another uh, wine area. Wine yeah, this fruit. is like a this is like a wine area almost. 
Yeah, eat and then, drinks, bar. Yep. And then, oh, here we're, we're getting to my favorite part of the house soon. So over here is, okay, this is the bathroom. I forget if this is a master bathroom or not. I don't think it is. It actually has a walk-in tub that you can walk in and the water doesn't come out. I don't know exactly how they put in this technology in houses, but they do. They figure it out. It's really nice. Yeah, I'll have to dry off real quick. Okay. I'm good. A nice and little sink. sink Probably could use a little bit more lighting in here. I put in a lantern Toilet. somewhere, but we won't worry about that now. Mm. Okay. That's nice. Yeah. This house, you can tell that this one, it's better than the last house that we saw. That last house compared to this is nothing. I think a lot of people see that. Mm. And then this, this is a second bedroom. This isn't even the master bedroom. This has got a fancy bed on it. It's kind of surrounded by a lot of things. It's got nice bookshelves. I don't think there's anything on top of here. No, there's not. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nice little le reading area. Some nice storage. It's a really nice bedroom. And then, if you come to here, I'll close this door. This is my favorite part of the house. This is my bedroom. So I have a blue bed. Oh, nice. This bedroom is built the same way. It's got some bookshelves. Ooh, I didn't close my doors. And somebody could have come in and steal something. I don't know. But, yeah, you got a lot of nice storage here. Fancy bed, you know, exactly like the last one. But then, what makes this one extra special, not only is the window special, because this is like a crazy window design. Oh, wow. Yeah, that that is, that is something. But then That's if you sick. come down here... There's its own, almost like a cellar, like a game room. If you look at this, there's two tables oh, yeah. here, and some seating over the here, man a bar cave. over here. It's like a man cave. You know, obviously we got our cups oh, place here. Sick. Get some Cabernet Sauvignon in here, you know. Then if you look below us, through the glass panes in the floor, you can actually see there's fish underneath. Oh, that is amazing. So we really went above and beyond with this one. You know, this is my house. I really liked it like this, and it's how I wanted it. So we really made it nice. Yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful house. I think otherwise, other than that, I mean, this one's actually technically not finished either because I think with the backyard, you got to do more stuff with the backyard. Like, I think I want to put in a pool. I have, like, a covered porch here, but I don't think I have any. Yeah, I don't have any flooring on there. Mm-hmm. So we don't really need to go out and see that. This is pretty much, you got the main gist of the house. All right, let's start. Let's go through. So now it's gonna start going through much faster. Some some of this, it's just this is like the center square. Yeah. And there's gonna be some more. All right, and I bet you a lot of you are wondering what that big thing in the middle is. This big thing up here. This is supposed to be a statue, and what this is, is it's supposed to be our version of the patron saint of our town where we're from in Sicily, St. Placido, and, you know, every year they have, like, a celebration where they put the statue on a float and they carry him around the town, and in Italy it's a big, huge thing. I mean, we have it here in America, but it's not as big as it is in Italy, but it's a really nice celebration. Mm -hmm. And we really love it. I mean, it's a time where we all get together and we have a great time. So mm. we really wanted to commemorate that in the city. And then we, you know, surrounded it with flowers. We got a nice fountain. Somebody threw a trident here. I don't know who that could be. <laughs> Mark. Could be. <laughs> and uh, this is supposed to be like his cross that he died on because he was a martyr. And then... Mm. You see, like, this is kind of a religious square. Then we have, like, the Sacred Heart of Jesus here. I mean, it kind of has to be trimmed, like, every five minutes because it keeps on growing. <laughs> so we got that. Those things are pretty cool. And then this is my other cousin's house over here. It looks really nice on the inside, but I don't think we have time to do it. So we're going to skip over that for now. Mm -hmm. We got our church here. We'll just do a quick... Yeah, quick in and out on the church. Looking in. Looks really nice. Yeah, it's wow. a beautiful church. Mm. 
I think that was one of the oldest builds on the map too. Yeah. So that one came out really good. I'm really impressed with that. And then moving on to the next thing. This is the Castell Club. Now, a lot of you guys don't know mm -hmm. what the Castell Club is. Basically, when we had the Simplacido celebration with this big guy over here, I mean, obviously, it's smaller in real life. It's not quite this big. But, mm -hmm. you know, when we're done, we would come here and have lunch. And then, you know, they would actually store the statue. Not the statue. They'd store the float that they put the statue in. They'd store it inside this little garage That's like area the top here. crown around him. Yeah. They stored a That's couple of that things in there. And if we come inside, actually, I think we finished the interior on this one. This one looks yeah, really everything's nice. Even, even like the float inside. Yeah, that's right. So we got our tables around here because I always had seating and stuff. And we had a, like a stage for like the DJ because when we had like the banquets at in the night, you know, they'd always have a DJ there playing for us. And we have the a bar. Big bar. Because yeah, they had a big round bar in kind of this area. And this is a phone booth because they have a really old-fashioned phone booth in there. It's usually, it was actually back in the corner in the real place, but we couldn't fit it back there. Mm. So we had to shove it there. Um, yeah, let's go into the garage. I want to see that float. I want to show everybody that float. This is kind of more like what it would be like in real life. Yeah, kind of and this then size. the statue would stand there. Yeah, like, I, let's say I was around. a statue, this is kind of how it would be. He would be standing in there. And then there was, like, poles coming out through here and here. And on this side here and here. Mm -hmm. Four to six men. Four, I think, on each pole. In yeah. Here. Uh, here in America. And then in Italy, it was, I think, six. Yeah, they had I a lot more because they were right? just heavy. They have, like, four car yeah, batteries in that like, one. I think maybe like all the lights. they give from my top of my head two thousand and five hundred pounds. Yeah, it's really heavy. So it's like what two hundred pounds, two and a half, one and a half pounds per person. Yeah, a couple hundred pounds per person. So one hundred pounds, one and a half. Yeah, ours too is and at least a good thousand pounds. It's yeah, heavy. Yeah, ours is like one one thousand two hundred. 25 or so yeah yeah ours is pretty heavy and then back here we have two bathrooms this is a ladies bathroom this is the men's bathroom i don't think we really need to go with too much in detail about the bathrooms but then mm -hmm. if you go over to here this is a kitchen we kind of try to make it similar to the kitchen in the actual castell mm -hmm. club it's a little bit off scale and stuff but there would be a sink over here but just the way that minecraft mm -hmm. works you can't really more. get it right you know, you can't really get it, so it's 100% accurate. We try to get it the best we can. And it came out pretty good. It looks pretty close. Yeah. If so. you've seen this place in person, a lot of this is actually sentimental for us. Mm -hmm. And this place. And also, there's oh. one more spot. Oh, the bocce courts. Yeah. You can't yeah. forget the bocce courts. So if you guys don't know what bocce is... It's almost like bowling, and it's like an Italian game. So what you do is you start out with two balls, and like they're red they, and green. Yeah, red and green. And there's a little <laughs> yellow ball, and then there's like a little white the thing. Court. So let's say I was the yellow ball, I'm gonna roll across the court. There's like certain lines that are in bounds and out of bounds, and you have to try to get your balls, whether you have the red or the green, closest to the yellow ball. Like however mm -hmm. many you have that are closer than the other team's balls, that would be a point. <laughs> And then, <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, we're so sorry. after we stop explaining ball. <laughs> and if 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 the if the yellow ball or one of your balls is like touching, that's two points. It's a really cool game. Very complicated. They have like tournaments and stuff. It's pretty insane. Definitely, if you don't know what it is, you should check it out. It's spelled B O C C E. You want to check it out, Bocce. All right, then other than that, I think that's good for the Castell Club. You can leave that go. Yeah, it's just another door to the bocce court. Okay, and then next, we have these race cars. Now, I don't know why I really built these over here, but I built these. This is one of the early earlier things, too, that we built over here. We have, like, all these different cars. This one is a Ferrari F1 car. It's... It's actually Michael Schumacher's Ferrari F1 car. 
then if we go back here, I know we don't like them. You know, they're kind of garbage. But here's the AMG Patronos. Right here. Yeah, we, we know that Ferrari is better, but we had to include them because we felt bad. And over here, we have a classic Ferrari race car. And this one is really cool, too, because Enzo Ferrari's son actually drove this one. That's pretty cool. And then, you know, it's crazy about this car here. This is a McLaren. It's a McLaren F1 car. And this one was actually driven by Nicky Lauda. <clears throat> so we got some very rare cars, very famous cars here with us today. Okay. And then last but not least in the circle, in this area of the circle, we have the courthouse slash government building. Now, it's kind of made to look like a Greek column, kind of like what you see with like the White House and stuff like that. Like a lot of government buildings in the U.S. So, if we want to look inside, there's actually a place where, you know, it's like the security when you go in. And we have a little guy right here working for us. And he's going to check you, make sure that you're not armed. Then you can enter. And, you know, it's open to the public. You can hear... All these hearings there's a little court room right here then if you go to the side in here there's another court room in here and I think there's another one on the other side too I don't think we have to go in and see that I think everybody's got the gist and that's pretty much it for the courthouse This is also like one of the earlier buildings. This whole area over here is one of the first areas we built. In fact, Nick, I don't think we even really thinking? intended this to be a city at this point. We just kind of had a couple of buildings. Yeah, you want to know what I was thinking? Um, <clears throat> you want to <throat> give a little surprise. Well, we're going to hold this off. It has actually been a little while since we... Um, this video has been already long, so if you want to see more, and there's a lot more to see, ladies and gentlemen, so stay tuned for part two. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, and also go down. Um, I'm going to shout out to Evil Streamer, um, a friend of ours, trying to get to 30 sh uh, streams by the end of February so uh, go check him out yeah he's he and has really good content I'd go see him if I were you mm -hmm. and um, thank you guys